Imagine the excitement of seeing a new generation of talent stepping onto the court for the Lakers. But just when it seemed like it was a done deal, the Warriors had other ideas. Reports are surfacing about how Golden State considered drafting Bronny James Wright before the Lakers pick, igniting a fierce debate about loyalty and legacy in Los Angeles. Join me as we unpack the implications of this near miss and what it could mean for LeBron's legacy. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like to stay updated on every twist and turn for the Lakers. The recent NBA draft brought some intriguing developments for us Los Angeles Lakers fans, especially when it comes to Bronny James. Reports indicate that the Golden State Warriors seriously considered drafting Bronny with the number 52 pick. Can you imagine the chaos that would ensue if the Warriors had snagged him? It's no secret that Bronny and his camp were laser-focused on landing with the Lakers, wanting to create that iconic father-son moment on the court alongside LeBron. But the Warriors, being the old rivals they are, almost threw a wrench into that plan. Bob Myers revealed during the ESPN broadcast that Bronny's agent, Rich Paul, made it clear to other teams that Bronny would take his talents to Australia if they selected him. This was a strategic move to ensure he landed where he wanted, right in Los Angeles. But the Warriors, despite their respect for that wish, still toyed with the idea of drafting him. Ultimately, they opted for a Quinton Post from Boston College instead. Was that a strategic decision based on respect for LeBron's wishes, or were they genuinely interested in Bronny's potential? It's hard to say, but it certainly adds a layer of intrigue to the ongoing rivalry. Now... Let's talk about why the Warriors might have been interested in Bronny in the first place. They recently tried to trade for LeBron himself at the deadline, but he made it clear he wanted to stay in L.A. And after failing to land other stars like Paul George and Laurie Markkinen this summer, could it be that they wanted to keep the door open for a future pursuit of LeBron? If they selected Bronny, would that have jeopardized any chance of enticing LeBron to join them down the line? It's a fascinating thought and it shows just how high the stakes are in this league. On the flip side, Bronny is not just LeBron's son. He's a talented player in his own right. Before his cardiac arrest incident, he was considered a first-round prospect. The Warriors have a history of picking players with high potential who face setbacks. Just look at Patrick Baldwin Jr. or Jonathan Kaminga. So, there's definitely a scenario where they saw Bronny as an undervalued asset. But in the end... They chose not to take the risk. As a Lakers fan, I can't help but feel a sense of relief. This was the perfect opportunity for Bronny to join the Lakers and step into the spotlight, learning from one of the greatest of all time. It's a storyline that not only excites us as fans, but also keeps the legacy of the Lakers alive and thriving in the league's narrative. It would have been a blow to see him in a Warriors jersey, potentially reigniting an old rivalry in a way we're not ready for. But what does this mean for our future? With Bronny officially a Laker, we're looking at a unique dynamic where LeBron can mentor his son while still competing at a high level. This could provide us with a fresh burst of energy and hope for the coming seasons. As we all dream of banner number 18, having Bronny alongside LeBron might just be the magic we need. You have to ask yourself, was this the best outcome for Bronny and the Lakers? Personally, I'm thrilled with how things turned out, but I'm also aware that we could have been looking at a very different landscape had the Warriors pulled the trigger. It's exhilarating and nerve-wracking as a fan to consider these possibilities. And you, what do you think? I want to hear your opinions. Did the Lakers make the right decision by securing Bronny, or do you think the Warriors would have been a better fit? Let's get a discussion going in the comments below. Before you go, make sure to like this video share it with your fellow Lakers fans, and subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you won't miss a thing. As always, let's keep the Lakers spirit alive and continue to support our team through thick and thin.